Hey guys, welcome to my garden. We are going to start off by looking at the green beans. These pots have nickel French green beans with some marigold flowers planted next to them. We lost some of the flowers due to a pest, so only a few of the pots still have the flowers. I currently have 22 of them in 11 pots. We did have some pest issues with the nickel French, and so they are maturing slower than the blue lake green beans. These other pots are also green beans, but they are the blue lake green beans. They also have marigold flowers planted next to them as well. I have 12 bean plants and 6 pots. The 5 bins have gold organic potatoes that I just purchased at the store and just replanted. We are already starting to get green beans off the blue lake plants. Over here is our pepper plants. I have 5 plabana peppers, 5 cayenne peppers, 2 serrano peppers, and 1 Korean pepper on the end. My husband organized this area, so I'm not sure which is which. The first three plants here are jalapeno peppers. And as you can see, they're already starting to bear some fruit. Following them is seven wonder green peppers. All the plants that you see in this garden, I started from seeds personally and transplanted in all of them, but a few I started from seed directly from the garden. I'm not sure if this is a wonder pepper because it looks like a poblano pepper. So I'm thinking maybe we got some pots mixed up. This row of plants is yellow squash. And I have 12 pots with 12 plants in them. We are having problems with the aphids. I'm currently using Dimesis Earth, the food grade kind. And it seems to be doing a decent job. It's keeping them contained where they're not spreading. And it's mostly just this one plant. It needs actually needs another dusting on it. We are just now starting to get into the growing season of squash. So hopefully in the next month we're going to be overwhelmed with squash. And I'm going to start freezing them. These five pots are green pepper plants and one tomato that I'm trying to save. It had an accident. The first three plants here are pickling cucumbers. I have two in each pot. The next plant here is a San Mazana tomato plant. It broke off, so I'm trying, I replanted it to see if I could save it. And after that is a tomatilla. And then the three with the cages is Jersey Devil Giants. I came across these seeds when I was picking out seeds in the spring and they look pretty interesting, so I figured I'd plant them. As you can see, they're huge, so I'm interested to see how well they do versus the San Mazana that I have behind them. They are slower growing than the San Mazana, so I'm going to see if they can compete with each other. The next four plants are tomatillas, and as you can see, there is a lot of fruit on these four. My husband actually had to makeshift something to prevent the branches from breaking. And this little tomatilla here actually needs to be picked. This row here is the San Mazanas. I have 12 of them in 12 pots. We are having problems with rotten end blossom. I'm hoping that the calcium that I added through the oyster shells helps until I can get to the store and get liquid calcium. This San Mazana here actually broke off from our other main stem and I replanted it to see if I can save it because I, I don't want to lose the fruit. And as you can see here, this is where it was at and it just got too heavy and tipped over. So far it's hanging in there and it's starting to come back so I'm hoping we don't lose the fruit. Some of these are cracking but they're sealing up pretty good. So I'm not too worried about these right here. I'm hoping we have enough where I can start canning here shortly. These last three are the money makers.
And these three are actually outgrowing the San Mazana. We are having problems with them splitting bad. I'm hoping if I adjust my water, and it'll get better over time. This plant here is a top hat blueberry. And next to it in the chair is a blackberry plant that I really need to replant. We just got it from the store. And another top hat blueberry. Here are our strawberries that we actually planted two to three years ago. They're not doing as well as they did, so I'm thinking I need to replant them. I'm hoping they sh send off some shoots and I can use them instead of buying some more. Most of these we just end up giving to the dog. They're just too little to really eat. Over here starts the herb garden. This is dill that I mostly just planted for the butterflies. We get monarch butterflies every year. And they love the dill. Um, the small container is lemon balm. And the one after that starts off being sage. Which is about time to come through here and trim some of these off and start dehydrating them and putting them up for the year. After the sage, it's thyme. That first plant is basil, which we use on the pe um, homemade pizzas. And then we have chives. And the next two is cilantro, which you can see is already bolted. I'm going to collect the seeds and try to bring them inside to see if they do better inside. After that, we have oregano and parsley. In the big pot, I planted spinach and dandelions. And we had a, a frost, and they didn't do very good. Behind the herbs, we have another strawberry gutter system. These have been doing a whole lot better than the other gutter system. We are still able to harvest decent sized strawberries off of this one. And that's our garden. Thank you for joining us.